Imagine using nature to protect us from nature itself. On coasts around the world, sand in beaches and dunes is prone to get eroded away by the movement of the water and the wind. In many cases, tall dunes on the coast offer protection from storms to people living further inland. During a heavy storm, the beaches and dunes are partially eroded away, being sacrificed to keep the waves from flooding the land behind them. Beaches and dunes have to be protected or maintained to have them ready for the big storms. Here in the Netherlands, we have something called the sand motor. This is a lot of sand that we have put here. The sand is eroded away by the water and deposited on the beaches further north. It helps to keep the coastline where it is right now. Behind us here, we have the dunes and they also need to be maintained. Uh, what they do is they plant this grass to, to keep the dunes on its place. However, below the grass and also below our feet where we're standing right here, there's other natural processes going on which uh, gradually glue these sand grains together and turn them into rock. Researchers Leon van Passen and Dianne den Hamer from the TU Delft are running experiments to learn how the bacteria living in the sand turn this sand into rock. What we have is two boxes and we filled it up with sand from our beaches. This natural sand contains bacteria as well. We feed these bacteria, we give them calcium nitrate and we give them calcium acetate. And by feeding bacteria, they become active. They start to convert the nitrate, start to convert the acetate and produce CO2 in a dissolved form, which is carbonate, will precipitate with calcium to calcium carbonate. And calcium carbonate, you know this actually as uh, the base of a sandstone. We test several parameters. We test the amount of water in the box. Another thing that we measure is the redox conductivity. The redox is an indication of uh, the electron acceptor. And these conditions will determine which bacteria will be active and also what their conversion rate will be and how fast and where they will precipitate calcium carbonate. And the more food you add, the stronger it gets. And as, as soon as you stop feeding, they stop producing cement. The process of cementation by the action of microorganisms is a natural one. And if fostered correctly, it may help the dunes erode away slower, allowing them to safely resist the heavier storms. Moreover, the nutrients that the bacteria require is often an industrial byproduct, meaning that the bacteria not only help in making rock, but also in recycling our waste. Eventually, uh, beach rock applications would not be that complex. And the only thing you need is a tractor, and you can drive different patterns along the beach, there where you want to have it strengthened. Perhaps one day we will use our knowledge of bacteria in the ground to build with nature in ways yet to be conceived.